Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 we're going to do some testing with the antennas on the X-Lite to see the internal versus the external antenna. I'm just going to kind of give you some data on the bench. We're going to just kind of see how it responds and what happens when we connect an external antenna. So as our control, I'm going to use the X9D SE that I've got here. For all this testing, I'm going to use the Immersion RC, the brand new RF meter. I don't think I've used this on the channel yet, but I have a couple things I want to use it for. We're going to turn this on, and one of the things that's great about it is we can set it to 2.4 gigahertz so it defaults to 5 gigahertz it says 6 gigahertz well, we've got it set up and I'll tell you I'm not an expert at this I've just played with it a little bit and I think I've got some results that'll be interesting for us so I'm gonna bring it back here and what I want to do to look at first is we want to do a comparison so I've got it zeroed out and centered here so with nothing powered on we're just gonna do a zero to find start with the X9D. There we go. So from about nine inches away, we have about three decibels. Now as I get closer here, we get up to, and when I'm making contact, right in the 14 to 16 range is the range that we see here. So the antennas are set so they work this direction. So about six inches away, I get a pretty consistent three decibels around here. If I go above, then it drops off quite a bit. That's why they tell you not to point your antenna directly at your model. That's not the right way to do it. You want to put it over here so you get a better signal. So with this external antenna, yeah, we get up to 15, 16, depending on where we get lined up with the antenna right there up close. We turn it back off, it goes directly to zero. So here with the free sky now, we get up in there and we get right at the same amount. This is with the internal antenna, 15, 16, and you'll notice it's facing this direction. If we have this turn this way, which you traditionally do, you're going out this direction. Well, with your radio, normally I would be holding it in a manner so it's pointing, basically going that same direction. And I get the same amount of signal. Now it's curious to see how it is in different directions. How directional is the antenna? So it does seem to be pretty directional. Now someone who does this for a living may tell me I'm doing it wrong, but I've just got some tools and I'm playing with them here to see what we see. But to the sides, I don't get nearly the same signal. Interesting, it seems to be better on that side than this side, huh, versus out here. Now this distance away, it's way better than what I was getting with the X9D. As the distance increases, the signal's gonna drop off, but just at six to nine inches, I seem to get far better signal in front of the radio with this than I did with the X9D. And right up close, it's right at the same. And again, we're just gathering data here to see what happens. But I think for most scenarios, you're holding your radio, your point, the model is gonna be this direction-ish, I think this is gonna work really, really well. Typically, you're standing and you're facing toward the model. Now, if you point down, I think it, you'll be okay. It's, I wouldn't hold it straight down, but if you hold it this direction and you're flying in front of you the same way you're doing with your antenna on your goggles, it seems to be directional and it seems to be really, really good. If you're facing backwards and you're flying a mile behind you, yeah, it, it might have a little more signal loss, plus especially since your body's gonna be in the way in that scenario. But we have another option. There is an external antenna port. Now what I'm gonna do is take the antenna right off of here. Uh, it, this is a screw off because this is an X9D SE and it will fit right on here without a problem at all. These are both RP SMA connectors. There we go. So now though, it won't automatically start using it just because this is attached. It, it doesn't seem to be making a difference here right now. What you have to do is go into your model. You go into the model and you go down to the module. So we have internal RF, I'm on D16 because I've set this up, antenna. So here, this is not external RF, this is the antenna under the internal RF. So I will click this and change it to really switch to external antenna because you will fry something if you don't have an antenna connected. Yes, so there now I'm using the external antenna. And now with this antenna, we're getting 15, 16, 17, even better, even better signal than what I was getting with the uh, X9D. So now if I go around this direction, 
Yeah, you know what, it seems about the same. That's interesting. I would expect it to be this way. But if I turn it that way, maybe I'm, this is a new tool for me. But if I turn it that way, it seems to stay up much better. And it still seems to do better on this side than the other side. So what does that mean? I, I don't know. It seems to me like I'm encouraged that the internal antenna is going to be pretty good. I've turned it back to the internal antenna and now over here for your signal moving all the way around. Yeah, that's, I will say this internal tennis antenna seems to be much more directional, which it, you have to keep that in mind. You want to be facing the direction that you're going to be flying. If that's okay for you, then it shouldn't be a big deal. If that's a problem, get an external antenna, stick it on there. I will say the free sky five decibel antenna is not going to fit on here. There's just no way they make a larger antenna. I have one. But I won't even grab it to try and fit because it will not fit on there anyway, not a chance. So we're definitely going to need some more long-term testing, but for now it's at least interesting to see what the antenna does and where you can use it. And I think for my flying, I don't think I'm going to need it. I'll be kind of surprised if I need it based on the results that I'm seeing here. I'm definitely going to test the heck out of it once I can without the antenna just to make sure. And I have a couple ideas for long range test that I'm going to try for it, but it's going to be just a little bit before I can try those. For now, we're on the bench. So if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know if you have any other ideas for the antenna. Theoretically, we could put a directional 2.4 on it, but I kind of think that's what we've already got. I don't think that's necessary at all. So until next time, remember, if nothing else, I like the fact that this channel gives me an excuse to buy fun toys like this.